गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ मंजू मीना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बॉटनी टूडे वी आर दिस इज पेपर फॉर एम एस सी फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट्स प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सर्कैडियन रिदम्स द क्लॉक विद इन दी प्लांट्स और लिविंग बींग्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर नॉर्मली subjected to daily cycles of light and darkness and both plants and animals often exhibit rhythmic behavior in association with these changes example of such rhythms include leaf and petal movements stomatal opening and closing growth and sporulation patterns in fungi example pilobolus and neurospora time of day of pupal emergence the fruit fly drosophila and activity cycles in rodents as well as daily changes in the rates of metabolic processes such as photosynthesis and respiration further when organisms are transferred from daily light dark cycles to continuous darkness or continuous light many of these uh, rhythms continue to be expressed at least for several days under such uniform conditions the period of the rhythm is close to 24 hours and consequently the term circadian rhythms which means latin circa which means dawn and day term to circadian rhythms is applied for day because they continue a constant light or dark environment these circadian rhythms cannot be direct responses to the presence or absence of light but must be based on an internal pacemaker often called an endogenous oscillator a molecule model for a plant endogenous oscillator was described earlier the endogenous oscillator is coupled to a variety of physiological processes such as leaf movement or photosynthesis and it maintains the rhythm for this reason the endogenous oscillator can be considered the clock mechanism and the physiological functions that are being regulated such as leaf movements or photosynthesis are sometimes referred to as hands of the clock now circadian rhythms actually circadian rhythms exhibit some characteristic features in the plants here circadian rhythms arise from cyclic phenomena that are defined by three parameters first is period it is the time between comparable points in the repeating cycle typically the period is measured as the time between consecutive maximum peak or minimum trough phase now phase is any point in the cycle that is recognizable by its relationship to the rest of the cycle the most obvious phase points are the peak and trough positions amplitude third one is amplitude it is usually considered to be the distance between the peak and trough the amplitude of a biological rhythm can often vary while the period remains unchanged in constant light or darkness rhythms depart from an exact 24 hour period the rhythms then drift in relation to solar time either gaining or losing time depending a typical in first diagram we will see a typical circadian rhythms the period is time between comparable points in the repeating cycle 
The phase is any point in the repeating cycle recognized by its relationship with the rest of the cycle. And the amplitude is the distance between peak and trough. In second diagram, we will see a circadian rhythm entertained to a 24 hours light dark cycle and its reversion. Therefore, free running period of darkness. In third diagram, you will see the suspension of a circadian rhythm in continuous bright light and the release of restarting of the rhythmic following transfer to darkness. Whereas in last diagram, we will see the typical phase shifting response to a light pulse given shortly after transfer to a darkness. The rhythm is rephased which is relayed without its period being changed. Now, although the rhythms are generated internally, they normally require an environmental signal such as exposure to light or a change in temperature to initiate their expression. In addition, many rhythms damp out when the organism is subjected to a constant environment for several cycles. When this occurs in environmental Z-Geba such as a transfer from light to a dark or a change in temperature is required to restart the rhythm. The circadian clock, it is also called a circadian rhythm or a biological clock in organism. Circadian clock would be of no value to that organism if it could not keep accurate time under the fluctuating temperatures experienced in our natural conditions. Indeed, temperature has little or no effect on the period of the free running rhythm. The feature that enables the clock to keep time at different temperatures is called temperature compensation. Although all of the biochemical steps in the pathway are temperature sensitive, their temperature responses probably cancel each other. For example, changes in the rates of synthesis of intermediates could be compensated for by parallel changes in their rates of degradation. In this way, the steady states level of clock regulators would remain constant at different temperatures. Now, phase shifting adjusts circadian rhythms to a different day night cycle. In circadian rhythms, physiological responses are coupled to a specific time period, sorry, time point of the endogenous oscillator so that the responses occur at a particular time of a day. A single oscillator can be coupled to a multiple circadian rhythms, which may even be out of phase with each other. How do the responses remain on time when the daily durations of light and darkness change within the seasons? In During the summer, the period of light is increased and the period of darkness becomes short. Wherever in winters, the periods of the darkness or the dark cycles are increased and the period of light cycle is decreased. Investigators typically test the responses of the endogenous oscillator by placing the organisms in continuous darkness and examining the responses to a short pulse of light given at different phase points in the free running rhythm. When an organism is entertained to a cycle of 12 hours light and 12 hours dark and then allowed to a free run in darkness, the phase of the rhythm that coincides 
with the light period of the previous entertaining cycle is called the subjective day and the phase that coincides with the dark period is called the subjective light if a light pulse is given during the first few hours of the subjective light the rhythm is delayed the organism interprets the light pulse as the end of the previous day in contrast a light pulse given toward the end of the subjective night advances the phase of the rhythm now the organism interprets the light pulse as the beginning of the following day this is precisely that would be expected if the rhythm were able to stay on local time even when the seasons changed these phase shifting responses enable the rhythm to be entertained to approximately 24 hour cycles with different durations of light and darkness actually it's a cycle of light and darkness which uh, controls our body responses or physiological responses of our bodies or any living being it's called circadian rhythms and basically basically it has three parameters to control the regulations of our body which is period phase and amplitude period is the time between the comparable points in the two rep- uh, in repeating cycle whereas phase is the any point of the cycle that is recognizable by its a relationship to the rest of the cycle and the amplitude is usually considered to be the distance between the peak and trough whereas the peak is a maximum point and trough is the minimum point of a circadian rhythm and it controls the movements of uh, or different physiological movements of plants like uh, leaf and petal movement during the day and night and the stomata opening and closing plant growth and sporulation patterns in fungi and so on so now it's completed thank you students